for all these others. Just, just crap. There's a lot of stuff here. Over the years. When I was five years of age, um, my father used to go round to the newsagents on a Sunday morning and take me with, and he'd pay the bill for the week, buy the news of the world, and then buy me six comic books. So it would shut me up while he read the paper, I could read the comic books. And this was before Marvel Comics ever existed. So I would get Superman and Batman and Detective Comics and Justice League of America, Green Lantern, The Flash, Jimmy Olsen, uh, Lois Lane comics, whatever, all DC. Um, and this happened for five years, every Sunday. We'd go around to the news agents, buy the news of the world, pay the bill, get me some comic books, back home, read the paper, read the comics. By the time I went to art college, 10, 11 years later, I'd got about 4,000 of them. So every month, myself, some people from the art college used to go down to London for a weekend and we'd do the clubs. Um, and while they were having a lion with a hangover, I was a real Viking. I, I'd go out and I'd find a comic shop <laughs> and I bought comics. And they were cheap. Um, the, work, the collecting bug wasn't quite as strong in the uh, what, late 70s. Um, but they're getting far more expensive. When I used to buy the regular comics, initially, they were 10 cents American, which was like sixpence, old money. Um, so I used to get quite a lot of comics. And I used to keep a, a little book of the issues that I'd got so that it wouldn't get duplicates. And by the time I came back from art college, I got perhaps 14,000 comics in total. In November 2014, November the 5th, I had a heart attack. And after a week in hospital, they sent me home in a taxi. And I thought to myself, I'm 58 years of age. What am I doing buying comic books? haven't bought one since. Um, and the original plan, even when I was a child, was I will save all these comic books in mint condition, I will get to 55, I will sell all the comic books, make a fortune, never do another stroke of work, and I will travel the world. But 55 snuck up on me a lot faster than I expected. And then I was caring for my late father. And so I thought, I've got to sell these things. It's a moved house. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of them. So we go. So that's page one. Starting at A, A Bizarro being the first one. Uh, it's a comic. DC is the publisher. There's four. Valued at $12, because all this is in dollars. And there were only four printed. So the little asterisk means it's a full set and the horizontal, uh, the diagonal line means they've stopped printing it. That was it. Because when you go down to Action Comics Volume 2, um, if it's in red, it means they're still being produced. And they're currently up to about 50 issues because they relaunched DC just over four years ago. Um, but Volume 1, I've got 642 issues which is about the last 50 years complete and they're valued at $23,260 um, and I will burn down my list onto all these uh, flash drives um, 
and I'll go around the San Diego Comic Con and I'll give them to the big dealers and say make me your best offer. It helped me with my artwork as a designer um, when I first started drawing everything had a black line around it um, like they did in the old comic books. Nowadays comics are far greater works of art than they were 50 years ago. They're now mo a modern form of culture which is why the movies are so popular um, and some of them are quite good and some of them not quite so good. Of course the disadvantage of that is that once I sell all these things then I'll have to buy a bed for, for this room so that if I do get guests they don't have to sleep on the settee.